Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here. We might have some good Halo news going forward. We will see what happens. But multiple things are going on around Halo and we're gonna talk about them today. First, I just wanna say that this video is sponsored by Raid Shadow. I'm just kidding, Raid Shadow Legends is not sponsoring this video, but you can by leaving a thumbs up on the video and subbing if you haven't already. If you love Halo content, this is the place to be. I could be your third favorite Halo YouTuber and we are grinding away towards 15K. First, I'll just say that Xbox is doing their Xbox Game Showcase on Sunday, June 9th at 10 a.m. Pacific time. That's exciting for a multitude of reasons. It's one of those times where we can get excited about there being some type of Halo anything, maybe the certain Affinity game. There's also a redacted game that's gonna follow them. I assume that's probably like Black Ops or something, I don't know, it's definitely not Halo related. But go ahead and leave me down in the description if you guys think that there's going to be anything at all about Halo at the showcase. I don't know if my hopes are up or down or where I'm actually at with this. We'll see what happens though. It's always nice to see new games, you know, that they're working on. I would love to see Age of Mythology and uh, like Fable being talked about, <laughs> but we'll see. The second thing in this video that's very important is that it seems like 343 has added a ton of senior and lead roles. Sketch tweeted and said 343 Industries is actively hiring across multiple disciplines with several new roles just added to the career site this week. Come build the future of Halo. It looks like cinematic director, senior surfacing materials artist, senior concept artist, senior product manager, lead game systems designer, lead game designer, lead gameplay designer, lead level designer. That's a lot of lead and senior level positions, which kind of like, you just think about how many people Infinite has lost since it came out. And like, obviously that, you know, kind of goes hand in hand with why Infinite was struggling, you know, but this looks like they're really gearing up for that next Halo release. I don't know what the time frame is on that. I've heard rumors that two thirds of Halo Infinite's campaign and like concept stuff had been like cut just so they could get the game out. So in my opinion, man, it would be great if they could reuse that two thirds that they didn't use and then already have this huge foundation for the next game so there's not like a ton they have to build and stuff and we see a quicker turnaround on the next release instead of like five six years down the road i'm actually rubbing my temples right now because that sounds awful because i'll be so old but they've already talked about how they're you know focusing on the next halo stuff and it looks like you know the next two events there's like a 10 rye 4 event in halo infinite and then like Spartan Surplus, and I guess that's just gonna be like everything that they had never released. I don't know, I haven't really seen anything that much about it, but it it really does feel like we are winding down. Hopefully we get something in the, you know, in-between period between Halo Infinite and then whatever Halo 7 is, like that certain affinity thing, maybe that's gonna be something that comes out in between that like holds us over for the major release, kind of like what Halo MCC on PC did. But I, again, I'm not gonna get my hopes up high. The only thing I know for sure is that they're hiring a bunch of people and hopefully they can get to, to work. But that's gonna do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and I will catch you around the ring. Peace.